Thanks for checking out Libby Langdon Living. I'm Libby and if you like this design segment, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. A quick tip I'm gonna give you about hanging an art piece is if you have different receptacles and things on a wall, don't center the piece between the wall and the thermostat. If you hang the picture more in the center of the wall, you're kind of taking the thermostat and the switch plate out of the picture. So just remember, don't let the thermostat guide you where you're hanging your artwork. Yeah, that's good. Another quick tip when you're hanging artwork is sometimes people can't decide how high or how low they want to hang it. Sometimes it's good if you have a smaller piece to hang it so that the center of the painting hits right about where your eye would hit. Of course, there are shorter people and taller people, but that's kind of a good rule of thumb to start off with. I think a little bit lower and the bottom one comes a little bit lower. Oftentimes people pick up small fun pieces of artwork as they're traveling. It's a great thing to hang them in a grouping or stacked or together. It not only reminds you of your trip, but it is a special look if you can group pieces together that are alike. Yeah, I love that. I love that. If you have wall sconces that are mounted up a little bit high on the wall, a great idea is to put a small special piece of artwork under the sconce. So you can see right now it's kind of open and if you look at it, it's just feeling a little empty. But by putting a piece of artwork there, you really highlight it. The other thing is the sconce also can give a little nice wash of light down on the artwork. So we're not gonna put lamps under the sconces, but I think to put two special little pieces of artwork under there, it's really gonna finish them off.